Now, you often hear the Hawaiian phrases malama aina or aloha aina to care for and love our land, right? Well, today I'm sitting with two people who take these concepts and actually put them into action and they need your help. We welcome Nahilani Parsons, our spokesperson of the Care for Aina Now Coalition and her colleague, Kavika Riley, who is Vice President of External Affairs for Kupu. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you for having us. We appreciate yeah. you. Now, Mahalo. Kavika, I'm actually very familiar with Kupu. Excellent. One of my very good friends, Honoka Katayama, she's a ukulele player. Oh. She went through the Kupu program and she's her whole heart is there when it comes to environmental studies and you know just being making Hawaii a, a sustainable place, right? Wonderful. Yeah, but but I don't know too much about this coalition, Nahilani. Can you can you share what what this is all about? Absolutely, Mahalo, Lina. Um, we're really excited to be here today. The Care for Aina Now Coalition has over 45 organizations that are now signed on in support. And our goal is for increased funding for our natural resources. So our mission is to protect cultural and natural resources for future generations, as well as keeping our community safe. This is awesome. And Kaviko, why now? Like what makes the efforts that the coalition is doing important right now? Uh, so, so many reasons. I think while many of us malama aina in our daily lives, you know, I'm sure you do, we do as well. As a community, frankly, I think we've taken the aina for granted. And the tragedies of last year, the firestorms were a wake-up call for so many of us. Yep. And and for us, really, it means while, you know, for Kupu, our passion, um, our, our greatest joy is to be out there and to do the malama aina work. Yes, but you right, guys are very hands-on, Kupu. We, we are, but yeah. now is a time for more than that. We also need to stand up and to support uh, the lawmakers who are trying to increase funding for conservation because that funding is a necessary part of stepping up our game and doing what we need to do to keep our islands healthy and keep our communities safe. That's very, very important. So what is it that our Care for Aina Now Coalition, what is it that you folks need from our government leaders? Well, what's really exciting is we've got the making of, of a good start. There are many bills that were already introduced at the legislature. They're still alive right now that could provide significant increases in funding for conservation and uh, conservation that helps to make wildfire risk lower in the future. What we need is to make sure that, that those bills pass. And so that's why it's important for all of us to be active in the legislative process this year. Let our representatives know that, that INA is a priority, that safety is a priority, uh, and, and to support the efforts all the way to the finish line. Yeah, you know, in fact, one of those bills actually has gone international. Um, you know, part of our job when we're preparing for Island Life Live is to check out what is happening in the world. And um, the, the bill that, Governor Josh Green put through for mm -hmm. that $25, that additional fee. Um, is, is that one of those bills that you folks are supporting and hoping to find funds from? That's one of the mm -hmm. possibilities, and there are a variety of others as well. And that's one of the things that's really exciting right now. But we got to make sure that, like I said, some of those bills cross the finish line. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's it's a good idea and it's good momentum, but it won't result in the good things that we need in order to care for Aina now. Um, can you share what some of those other bills are? I, mean, I believe there was one with the, um, is it the transient tax fees, where that money is being used and yeah. stuff like that. Do you have others that, that people can kind of click on to? So there are a variety of different uh, bills that find, um, we call them mechanisms, right? There's a, there's a lot of sort of jargon behind it. Yeah. They're all just different ways to work towards the same result, which is to significantly increase the amount of funding that we have for our Department of Land and Natural Resources and for other organizations, including nonprofits, that are doing conservation work that needs to happen. And really, there needs to be more. One of the things that's exciting, and we get to see it at Kupu, where I work, is that when you give young Kama Aina a chance to get their hands dirty, literally and figuratively, and work in conservation, they're excited to do it. Yeah, they, they fall in love with it. It's, it's not something that they're doing just to get a credit or just to get a degree. They are in it, you know, I mean, and, and they, they change their whole lifestyle to make it about this. But I also notice how influential they are when it comes to telling their parents and their kupuna, no, grandma, this is how we have to do things. Or So so what do you need? I mean, I, I'm not as young as those buggers right there on the screen, but, but what can we do to help? What can Island Life Live and what can those who are watching right now do to help? 
Thank you for asking. We have our next virtual rally coming up on Wednesday, um, the 21st at 4 p.m. You can find out more information about it by visiting our website at careforinanow.org. And you can subscribe to our newsletter, and that's how we'll notify you and invite you to join us on Wednesday, and you can learn all about it there. Beautiful. Okay, so, yeah, you, uh, wait, that's the same time as our show, guys. That's okay. That's okay. They can watch us at 1030 on yeah, KIKU. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much, Kavika, Nahilani. I really appreciate you guys coming out and, and talking to us about because I know that we love our Aina yeah. mm -hmm. but now we just have to make those extra steps now it's, it's time, time to level action. up yeah. absolutely yeah. time for action speaking of action